previously on Down to Film. You know, let me know if you need any help filming, okay? Once we finish this scene, we're officially out of money. We could bring in another producer. This is Jimmy Johns, our new producer. It's West. He's a porn producer. Thomas is just gonna have to get The intern just came in here and started tying us all up. It might be Vishnu's ghost. Hey! Vishnu! Stay dead this time. And now... Cards full. Thomas! Empty that card and get a new one. With haste! Was that it? That was a ding. That's a ding! We have a ding! Hey! Ah! So, uh, what now? Oh, well, we edit it. That's what's now. I don't know how to edit. <laughs> Neither do I. I can't do that. I do the sound. Shut the f up, Mark. Well, I'm gonna edit it. You're gonna edit it? Yeah, well, why not? No, no, you're a horrible editor. I'm not a horrible editor. I'm the guy who edited the genre episode. <sighs> uh, I hated that episode. It was worse than Time Cop. Yeah, that episode gave me an ulcer. I can edit the sound. Shut the f*** up, Mark! Yeah, that was a pretty lackluster effort on your part. And, and, and besides, the genre episode, that was the, that was the worst one we ever made. Yeah. yeah. Sounds is important. Okay, well, fine. F*** me. Who are we gonna get to edit it then? Uh, well, um... What about Marmlo? Yeah, Marmlo. Marmlo? Marmlo. Hey, he was the best editor we ever had. Why would we settle for you when we can have the guy who edited Shawshank when he was six years old? You all remember the dailies he showed us? That movie was on a Tyler Perry level before he got his hands on it. No, he's probably too busy. Besides, I've been working on my editing. No, you 
haven't. You've been doing drugs and dancing. And doing drugs while dancing. That's, that's not editing. That's an addiction. Yeah, you have a problem. It's only an addiction if you do drugs all day, every day. That's what you do! You're doing it right now! Look at him! Pretty sterile decision. Get Marmalo to do it. Come on, guys. Mush! Uh. Ha! <sighs> well, kids, looks like I gotta find an editor. Why don't you watch Daniel Romero's It's Not Fair while I go powder my nose some more, okay? All right. Your zone? My zone! I have maximum efficiency! You can't infiltrate my zone! I wasn't wanting to? Good! Now leave! Marmo, wait! I need an editor. The most essential element of masterclass filmmaking. <laughs> you have my curiosity. And I have my attention. Now, depending on your intentions, you'll receive your redemption. And hopefully, without retention. <laughs> I'm not... I... I don't follow. Are we doing a bit? Or... something? <sighs> I'll edit your movie. you edit the movie. Okay, great. Under one condition. I don't understand the meaning of this! Dance! Dance, my child! Be one with the air that encapsulates you! Okay? Mm. Weird. But I guess if this is a condition, I'll do it. What? No! I need an assistant! So why am I doing this? I don't know! Why are you? This place is so weird. Better than working for Letterman. Hey guys! Uh, what's going on? Oh, well, uh, after some strenuous debate, uh, Marmalo has agreed to edit the film. Under the condition that he has an assistant. Ooh, I want to help. Which is me. Well, what do we do now? Uh, have we finished putting the equipment up yet? No. Then we should probably finish putting the equipment up. We'll be in the lab if you need me. We won't.
So Panga, take a note. When it comes to editing, a handy editor always follows his rules of six. Rule of six? Yeah, it's a basic hierarchy that dictates when and where to cut. You see, most important is three-dimensional space. You see, the audience is very smart. They'll be able to tell with great accuracy if something is three or four feet away. That's why you always have to establish space. That sounds... right. Yeah, now, you don't really have to remember this because it's the least important emotion. Do people go to see films for emotional reasons? Um... Yes? No! The answer is always no! People don't go to see films because they think that they're gonna enjoy them emotionally. People go to see films for form, craft, technique, prop usage, continuity. This all sounds rather inaccurate. Well, who, pray tell you, is the editor and who is the assistant? That's what I thought. All right, well, what is all this about? Oh, that's my jazz collection. Did you know that Sir Alfred Hitchcock only edited to musical stylings of DJ Jazzy Jeff? Inaccurate, again. <sighs> jazz is a part of my zone. Now give me a CD. Okay, well, which one? There are like a dozen in here. Just name them off, I'll let you know. Okay, um, I love jazz. Uh, jazzing and Dawn. Let's jazz together. Ah, there's a great sax solo in that one, but keep going. Okay. Uh, covered in jazz. Uh, swallow my jazz. Uh, you've got jazz in your ear. Open up, baby, I'm about to jazz. Uh, I love it when you make me jazz. Jazz soup. Lick my jazz off the floor. Mama saw me jazz last night. Sweet sticky jazz. Ah, sweet. Sticky jazz, please. Sweet, sticky jazz it is. <laughs> uh, so, uh, where are the cases? Well, we got them in bulk. There's one big case out in the trailer. In bulk? Costco. Oh. Okay. Well, after this, I think we are basically done. We can't believe it. We really pulled it off, guys. Mm, so what happens next after the editing's over? Well, we'll show it. Someone will pick it up, they'll distribute it, and we'll make money. Simple as that. What? Yeah, that's how movies work. Give them an MP4 file and an influx of cash follows. I've been doing it wrong this whole time. We really did it. We'll have a great movie, and the station will be restored to its former glory. This'll be our Godfather Part 3, our Piranha 2, our Cutthroat Island, our After Earth. Oh wait, didn't After Earth tank? This'll be our The Last Airbender. I love that movie, and I'm waiting for the sequels. Why am I doing this again? Huh? Oh, because I need you to. Uh, what do I do when it gets hot? It's easy, you unplug it, wait for it to cool down, and plug it back in again. Sorry, how is this relevant to editing? The virtue of patience. Also, I'm kind of thinking about returning it to Sears. Yeah. Here's the footage. Oh, and the uh, folder labeled not porn? What's in the other one? Um. Recipes for cooking. Is this all of it? Should be, yeah. You sure? Yeah, why? There's only like a hundred clips. Yeah, we were efficient. Efficient? Each one is like 30 minutes long. Well, yeah, no, we weren't efficient, but at least we got what we needed. Everything needed. Look at this one. The thumbnail just looks like a chicken eating corn feed out of a tube sock. Well, yeah, that was for the dream sequence. What about this one? Just looks like Oliver dressed up as Buffalo Bill dancing to Goodbye Horses by Q Lazarus. What was that for? Yeah, that was for the flashback montage. Flashback montage? That wasn't the script. 
Did you even stick to the script? Well, we may have gotten a little sidetracked. Sidetracked? Danny, I poured every last cent TSDV had into this project, and all they have to show for it is farm stock footage and your crew dicking around in their free time? What did you spend all the money on? Well, steak dinners aren't cheap. Steak dinners? Do you know what this means? Yes. But just to be sure, tell me again I wasn't listening. We're ruined! Danny, we've got no movie, we've got no money, we're down sh creek with a f title. You keep saying this word, we. <laughs> Well, kids, looks like we're in a bit of a jam. Why don't you watch Kelsey Hawk Moe's new tour while we figure all this out? Okay. I can't use that thing, it's got a face on it. Brenna, you need to relax. I can relax without a toy. Brenna Bear, your fingers aren't particularly long. Damn it. Yep, and it's all thanks to Monlo, who had the confidence in us from the very start. You know what? I say we take him to a steak dinner after he's done. Yeah. 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 Hurrah, Marlo! Hurrah, Marlo! 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 Hey guys, sorry I'm late. You wouldn't believe the line at Atheist Burger. Mom, though, what the hell's going on? Dance is smirchum. Nishtichelm shviata. What happened? He flipped it when I raised the stakes. Do it. Uh oh. Looks like this is gonna take a few hits. Come on, guys. All right. <laughs> oh, hold on. Hold on. Okay, you're good. Slush, he's had enough.
Damn it, Mark, do you mind? We're trying to eat here. Hey, you're gonna need this stuff. Cut it out. Fine. Can I have some steak? No. This is good steak. Should be. Toby's like 45 bucks a pound. It's so unfair. I'm always there getting the sound for them. I do everything for them, and how do they repay me? They don't even let me eat steak. With every slap I receive, my arousal increases. But that's not the point. That's a whole nother issue. I, I, I hate them. I, I hate them all. Do you truly hate them? Come with me, brother, and together we shall exact our revenge. Hey, you think that you could do other stuff with our minds? Like what? Oh, you know. Stuff. Will Marlo finish a cut of the movie? Will Danny overcome his increasingly problematic drug addiction? Has Celeste even seen The Last Airbender? And will Betty and Mark be accepted into the League of Telepathic Hispanics? These questions and more answered on the next installment of Yam Yam Yam. No. 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 No.